Well, it's been a real privilege to watch you as a player and then get so involved in the community all of these years. And score one for health is something we're talking about. I mean, this is year 21, right? Year 21. So days. you're old enough to yeah. serve beer now. Just, <laughs> big yeah, 21. Yeah, yeah, we're old enough to serve, but we don't because it's for the kids. Yeah. So, uh, but we will have some at the tournament, of course. Uh, my favorite beer, Budweiser. Of course. So, um, but yeah, it's been 21 years, and I mean, it's uh, it's amazing you know, the support that we've gotten from the Kansas City community uh, each and every year uh, to be able to do this. You know, we're screening over 13,000 kids a year through this program, making sure that they're healthy, uh, height, weight, vision, dental, total body assessment testing. We work with them on, you know, securing eyeglasses, dental treatment, you know, their diet. I mean, the whole gamut. We want these kids to be healthy and it's important because uh, you know, education, as my mom always told me, it says the greatest gift we can give you is an opportunity to get an education. And in order to do that, these kids have to be healthy. So that's what we're trying to do, to make sure that they're healthy, that when they start their career in education, that they know they're healthy and that they could have a long, prosperous, you know, and successful career in education. Both your parents were teachers. 1987, your Wizard White Humanitarian Award winner in the NFL, which is such a great achievement. At the time, did you feel like some kind of a personal challenge that, okay, now that the NFL says that you're all that, you got to keep <laughs> it going forward, and this was a good fit for you with your background in education well, yeah. to help kids at that level? Well, my parents both were educators, so that was so important to me. and. I felt like if I ever got a chance uh, or put in the position where I could impact the lives of other kids, then you know I was going to do everything I could in my power to do that. And luckily for me, there was a guy by the name of uh, Bob Ritchie who was uh, um, um, uh, at the hospital, KCUMB, University of Health Sciences at the time, uh, that came to me and said, hey, I got a neat idea I want you to help me with. and. Uh, I said, well, can we help some kids? And he said, by all means, we can. So him and I started Score One for Health 21 years ago, actually 22. And, um, you know, without his support, um, and he's no longer with us, but without his support in the university, Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, I don't think we could have ever gotten this far, Dave, 21 years. Uh, we've had tremendous support from the university and uh, so many different sponsors that have helped us along the way. Some of those kids from the start who could have been, say, 10 at the time, now they're 30. Mm -hmm. And to me, the greatest thing would be, you helped me 20 years ago. Exactly. I'm going to help you now. And, and exactly. I mean, I've been in the grocery store, and I've had people come up to me and said, hey, I remember you. You had score one for health in our school. And, you know, I went through that program, and, you know, I really appreciate you doing that for me at the time. And I can remember the principal at the first school we ever went to, it had about 250 kids, and we took some toothpaste and toothbrush, just little simple items. And he looked at me and he had tears in his eyes. He goes, Duran, you, you don't realize this will impact our kids. This will definitely impact them. So, I mean, just something so small, something that's very, very basic but it's something that's so important in the lives of these kids each and every day. One of the great golf tournaments in town has always been the score one for health event and the goodie bag is, <laughs> is spectacular. And I'm guessing you turn away uh, celebrities every year because everybody wants to play in your tournament because there is cool stuff. Well, we even get guys that show up, you know, they they say they're not going to show up and then they wind up showing up or <laughs> or they call ahead and say, hey, man, can I get one of them goodie bags? <laughs> can you yeah. give me an extra goodie bag? So I leave that up to Dave Garcia. He's our tournament director, but he's, you know, we have a great staff that works tirelessly year in and year out uh, to put on a first class event. I mean, if you walk away hungry, something's wrong with you. If you don't feel like you've been totally taken care of, something's wrong with you because our, our people do a great job of reaching out and making sure that the service is good. Uh, Lock Lloyd, I can't say enough about them. We've been with them, I think, out of 21 years. We've been with them 19 years. And they, they just know how to do it right. And, uh, and so it's a great event. It's a great day. Um, and we have a lot of fun. When you have guys like Dan Sally Moore around and, yeah. it's, it, and Bobby Bell, it gets pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. And, you know, this year we got Jan Stenerud coming in and, 
It, it'll he's be a fun. good golfer. Yes, he is a good golfer. I played with Jan. Very, very good golfer. Um, John McGraw is going to be back. We haven't seen John in a long time. Uh, and um, so it's, it's wonderful uh, to be able to, to do this, but more importantly, have the support of your peers, guys that I played with, and even some guys that you know I met along the way, like a Bud Stallworth, uh, a Foots Walker, and guys that come out each and every year and give their time to, to raise money for this event. There are lots of good causes, lots of good golf tournaments, but there's always been such a warm feeling at yours. And I don't know if it's because it, it's for the kids, but it really does have some kind of a, like you're really touching the community by doing this. Well, I think people realize that um, we've always tried to be approachable and down to earth and put on a first class event where people have a great time when they walk away and they leave and they say, wow, that was a, that was a great event. And uh, we do it all in one day, and so people have time. We'll tee off at 10 o'clock. Everybody's done golfing by, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock, and everybody's out of there at least by 6 o'clock at night. So it's not like you're staying till 8, 9 o'clock. You still get home and you can do something. So I think they feel that there's, um, it's, it's run, a tight ship, but yet it's fun. Uh, you get to enjoy the day. You get to have plenty of food and drink or, or and and it's just a wonderful day of golf and the golf course is always in great shape appreciate you coming in thank you for having me always good to catch it. up score yes. one for health in its 21st year the golf tournament next tuesday at lock Lloyd. you'll raise a lot of money is there a website people can go to for more information well if they, they can go just to want to the, send you a check yeah, yeah they can send is, me a check they can go to kcumb website and uh, there's a link there to score one for health or they can call you know, contact the university, get in touch with Dave Garcia. I don't know. Let me see. I can pull it out of my pocket. I always keep it with me, Dave. Dave Garcia. Here you go, Dave. It's 913-707-4653. Uh, uh, wow, that might so be his cell number. comes in hand. Might as well. That's Goes right. with the territory. Appreciate you coming Good in. Good to see you, man. You too. Always. Duran Cherry, our guest on Time Warner Cable's Metro Sports. This has been a production of Metro Sports and Time Warner Cable, Kansas City.